Craig Hall was great because I did not have to get into the debates about whether we're going to restore to this period or that period or what we're going to do, because the building was just telling us what we had to do. We're going to preserve it the way it is. We're going to save every piece of historic fabric. When Trenton Hall was first opened and now, that's become the norm. Like, how you started is now really the direction that historic houses are going, such as President Lincoln's Cottage, where it doesn't have a collection and it's known because of the power of the narrative that you go in and you can talk about any issue you want to talk about that day and the room allows you to do it. That f few sites quite have as, are as pure as Drayton Hall. It, uh, and, and that philosophy hadn't been put in concrete yet at the trust. You know, I'd never been there before. And I just, I remember coming down that drive, you know, and all of a sudden that, that house, you know, Drayton Hall, just kind of exploding out of the landscape and um, just being in awe. I, you know, I, every time I go back, you know, there's a new project like the Portico project that opened up all sorts of areas to look at. I just think the building, you know, inside and out, has this extraordinary level of physical evidence that we, I think each project builds on the next one. And I remember getting a cup of coffee that tasted like sulfur water. It was really bad, but in a way it was really good too because everybody was friendly and they gave it to me and it was, you know, it was, the conversation was good. So 